Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for our Modern SCADA Solutions event. We're all very excited to have you here. And uh, without further ado, going to go ahead and uh, kick us off on what's new with uh, InTouch Perpetual Pricing, something that we've all been very excited about here. Uh, so I'm going to just do a quick recap on what's uh, been going on with InTouch the last few years, and then we'll get right into the uh, new pricing with uh, InTouch. So first off, if you're new to InTouch or you want to get the uh, latest uh, version of InTouch, you can simply go to our website and download InTouch. And so if you uh, just do a search for uh, Viva InTouch, you'll be able to go to the InTouch webpage. And from there, you can download software. You can actually view some of the pricing now that we have available uh, directly uh, from our website. Uh, with that demo, there is a, a nice summary of what's new uh, so that you can get uh, acquainted with uh, the latest features of InTouch 2023 R2. Uh, and a big change for InTouch 2023 R2 is that Window Maker is now included with all runtime licenses. So you don't need to purchase a separate development license to develop with InTouch, it's included. So that's a, that's a really nice change, uh, making it easier for folks to access InTouch and get started with the uh, development. And getting educated with InTouch has never been easier as well, apart from our training classes, which uh, Matt will be talking about um, a little bit later today. We also have some free online recorded uh, uh, learning, e-learning. So we have a, a Viva Learning Academy. You can get uh, online recorded training. We have InTouch HMI Learning Bytes, a brand new uh, video collection academy that was just uh, introduced. And so you can uh, get uh, some very a brief uh, training videos on the basics of InTouch. So that's very exciting as well. I'm not going to go into all the details because we've continued to develop uh, InTouch over the years. And uh, more recently here in the last, last uh, five, six years, we've uh, come out with InTouch Web, which we're ex very excited about as well. So you can access your InTouch applications now via web client, uh, via HTML5 web browser. So that's very exciting for us. Um, increased support for integration with Aviva Historian, we're very excited about. So no need to go separately into the Historian and import your InTouch tags. You can directly from InTouch uh, check a box to have that tag automatically added to the Historian. And that also uh, allows you to log your InTouch alarms to the Historian as well. So no, no longer a need to um, have to log alarms to SQL Server. If you don't uh, wish to do that, you can log them directly to the Historian, which makes management of your alarms easier. Uh, some other uh, ex exciting capabilities that, that we've added uh, in the more recent versions are support for UDTs, which I'll show you a quick video on, as well as uh, uh, OPC UA and the ability to browse uh, your PLC or your OPC UA server tags and bring those into InTouch. So lots of great updates and evolution and investment in, in InTouch. Here's a uh, quick video example of support for InTouch UDTs. So what you see over here on the right-hand side is ability to browse the UDTs that we've uh, created or imported. And uh, so you see this structured uh, kind of asset-based model um, opposed to the traditional flat structure of a tag name dictionary. So uh, really nice, uh, have the ability to organize your information based on assets, uh, based on uh, equipment and uh, variables or attributes associated with those assets. So it makes the data much more organized and cleaner to, um, to find. And then you also have the ability to um, use things such as uh, owning object scripts so that you can uh, use uh, relative referencing. Um, so again, creating kind of graphics once and then be able to reuse those uh, throughout your application um, and, uh, and have the, uh, the object automatically know where to find its reference. So you don't have to hard code references for uh, similar graphics. So very nice capability added here. Now, here's some new pricing for InTouch Perpetual Licensing. So we have a 1,000 tag runtime license. Again, remember that includes Window Maker now uh, for $1,795. We have a 2,500 tag InTouch Runtime license for $2,595. Again, includes Window Maker. So some low pricing for that kind of low end. You just need a, a simple HMI maybe a touch panel or a simple workstation for a simple SCADA application, making it very affordable to purchase that once and own it for life. Something we're very excited about here is the introduction of InTouch Unlimited Perpetual. And so what this includes is everything you need for SCADA, including unlimited clients for InTouch off of a server, of course, development window makers included, 
the situational awareness graphics library, all the communication drivers, the Aviva historian, and Aviva reports for one time cost of $20,000. That's a perpetual license. So Aviva has gotten incredibly aggressive with the uh, HMI SCADA market now uh, so that folks can continue to use uh, InTouch they know and love and uh, make it very affordable. So we're gonna go into a little bit of the details of what's included in that bundle. Here you see we've got uh, just an example of an InTouch application, an InTouch screen that's kind of leveraging a little bit of that situational awareness library. You can see um, a lot of the things are more kind of grayscale color, but then we're using color limited to just draw the operator's attention to things that are going on, such as abnormal situations, alarms, uh, maybe uh, just uh, highlighting things that are actually on or running, um, but limiting the use of color where uh, we don't need to, or things are running normal. You can see we've got some trend pens on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, which is really nice uh, to uh, get a uh, overview of what's going on in your environment, not just in real time, but uh, in a historical uh, trend so that you can see what direction things have been and what direction things are heading. Uh, and again, alerting the operator's attention to what matters most in your HMI. The historian client, of course, is included so that you can do your historian trending right from inside of InTouch. And that includes both our uh, historian client trend control that you see on the, the left, and then also InTouch, uh, I'm sorry, historian client web on the right hand side, which is if you want to access your trends just via web page without uh, accessing the full InTouch application. So that's very helpful for folks that just need to do trending analysis and uh, don't need to access necessarily the full InTouch application. They can pull up historian client. Uh, trend web and, uh, and access their historian data there. So very popular tool for troubleshooting data analysis. We always get uh, really positive feedback in the field of customers that say that uh, they just, uh, uh, they love the historian trends. They're incredibly easy to use to create your own trends, save them, uh, use them for uh, making sure things are running uh, normal and uh, be able to troubleshoot and diagnose issues very quickly. We have an Excel add-in for the historian as well. So if you like to uh, work inside of Excel for doing data analysis and reporting, uh, that is included as well, as, uh, as well as our SQL query tool, which is a, a really powerful tool to do data mining uh, without having to become a SQL expert. So it's a drag and drop environment that allows you to select the time range you're looking for, what are the tags you want to, uh, to analyze, uh, what kind of values do you want to retrieve? Do you want to look at the full data set? Do you want to just look at, say, one minute or 15 minute data? Do you want to look at the, the raw data? Do you want to look at min, max averages, totalized flows, uptime, downtimes? Those are all check boxes. And so you can see on the on the bottom right, it actually builds the, the structured query language, the SQL for you. And uh, there's another tab called data. And if you switch back to the data tab, it'll actually just show you the results, the data set, and then you can export that to uh, an Excel or CSV you could copy and paste that SQL query if you wanted to use it in other reporting tools. Aviva Reports is included with InTouch Unlimited Perpetual. And Aviva Reports is a very user-friendly tool for creating and automating scheduling reports to be automatically generated, say at the beginning of the day, the end of the month, for a monthly report. Uh, they can be in uh, PDF or Excel format. Uh, there's also uh, a web portal that's included with Aviva Reports so that you can share reports uh, internally via a web page. It's a drag and drop environment. The drivers are included to um, natively get data from the Aviva historian, to get data directly from InTouch, real time and historical data, as well as InTouch alarms. So if you wanted to have an alarm report to look at the, the, the alarms that you've had um, over a period of time, um, the number of alarm recurrences, the severity of those alarms, uh, Aviva Reports is a, is a powerful reporting tool that uh, also works with non-Aviva data sources. So if you've got other Excel CSV data, uh, CSV files that you need to bring into a central reporting um, environment, um, you can bring data directly in from other SQL data sources via ODBC, for example. Um, so Aviva Reports is a very user-friendly reporting tool, uh, allows you to create and uh, automatically generate reports and even email them automatically to folks. All of the communication drivers are included with InTouch Unlimited Perpetual. And so uh, that's going to support all of the uh, PLCs in your plant, whether you're using a, uh, uh, an Allen Bradley platform, a Modbus uh, type of device, OPC UADA, MQTT, 
you know, BACnet for those building automation applications, GE, Mitsubishi, Amon, Siemens, you name it, SNMP, web services, those are all included in the InTouch Unlimited Perpetual Bundle. This is a uh, example architecture that uh, you might use in an Untouch Unlimited uh, um, application. Uh, up top, you've got a, a host server, and we've basically separated all the individual components that come with InTouch Unlimited. Uh, you could theoretically run all these Aviva um, uh, components on the same, um, same computer, same operating system if you wanted to, but we've separated them out just so you can see uh, the individual components that are included. And if you choose to separate them out um, because it helps um, uh, maintain those individually. Um, that's uh, typically a, a best practice here where um, you may have a, a domain controller for um, security purposes, uh, managing the, the users that are, are going to be accessing the SCADA system from an Active Directory domain controller. So you've got one place to um, uh, control, uh, again, uh, usernames, passwords, permissions, who's going to be able to access the system. Uh, so with InTouch, of course, you can leverage that um, domain-based security. And then you may have a, a dedicated uh, InTouch runtime um, IO server that's talking to all the PLCs, logging your alarms, uh, doing any logic execution. And then you might have an InTouch uh, web server then uh, where that's the, Apple, that's the server that the uh, clients are actually connecting to to access the SCADA system. And again, that's with unlimited clients. And that can be any combination of folks that want to access the InTouch server via web page, or via a RDP client. So you get to choose uh, what, what makes sense, what, uh, what, what you prefer, and maybe you wanna do a combination of uh, RDP, InTouch Access Anywhere, which is a web browser, or InTouch Web, which is also a web browser. The uh, Aviva Historian, of course, is included. So um, very, very user-friendly and proven technology for uh, collecting and storing all that real-time data. No need to worry about having to manage anything in SQL Server or become a SQL Server expert, Not no SQL licensing required. So very user-friendly way to not only store your real-time data at high fidelity, uh, full resolution of your process, but also make it very easy to retrieve that data that you've stored, whether it be in a trend to do uh, troubleshooting, uh, data analysis, optimizations, or in a report. Like we mentioned, we have the Excel add-in, we have Aviva reports. So making it very quick and user-friendly and simple for folks to actually use the data they've collected, which is really where the value is. And then of course, uh, development is included. And so you might have a, a, a development environment that you use offline of production so that you can do your testing and then um, deploy those changes to, um, to your InTouch applications uh, when you're ready to. With InTouch Unlimited Perpetual, you have an option to also purchase a redundant server at 50% uh, of the cost of the primary server license. And so that gives you all of the same capabilities that you have on the primary server, a redundant InTouch server, redundant InTouch web server, a redundant historian. So uh, if you choose to have redundancy, that is an option as well at a very one, low uh, one-time affordable cost. So just to recap, uh, InTouch Unlimited Perpetual, so one-time cost of 20K, and it includes unlimited InTouch tags, unlimited InTouch clients uh, from your server includes development and all of the graphics libraries, the communication drivers, uh, the Aviva historian and Aviva reports. So if you have any questions on InTouch Unlimited uh, or like a quote request, you can always uh, email us uh, or give us a call and we'd be happy to answer your questions.